Ladies, I know what it's like to have hurtful words spoken to you or about you, and they stick, and they hurt, and they tend to start to shape the way that we see ourselves, and so we become insecure. We feel like we're worthless, unlovable, ugly, dumb, all of those things because hurtful words were spoken to us maybe a year ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe 40 years ago. For me, I vividly remember a word spoken to me by a relative who should have loved me well, but did not. And I overheard them talking about me, this was like 40, 50 years ago, saying, she's just so fat, she's like a fat pig. Oh my gosh, that's, that was so deeply scarring in that moment. And here's what happens when we hear something horrible like that spoken to us, we start to believe it. We start to repeat it inside our heads. Yeah, that's right, I'm just, I'm stupid. I'm ugly, no one loves me. We start to repeat these things inside our heads until we believe it. We end up feeling like we have to settle for that boyfriend who's abusive, but that's the best we can do. That's all we could expect is to have this kind of boyfriend. Or we settle for a husband who's verbally abusive and physically abusive, and we feel like this is the best that we can do because we're so horrible ourselves, right? Unlovable, ugly, stupid, clumsy, all of those things, right? And so we make very poor decisions. But there is a better way. There is a way to overcome the voice of the enemy who's trying to get us to bite on these lies. We need to start seeing ourselves the way God sees us. And that's what I'm going to encourage you to do today. Because God doesn't make junk. You are lovable. You are even beautiful. And I know some of you don't believe me when I say that. You are beautiful. God designed you. You're not a mistake. Your features are not a mistake. I still do have some questions that I'd like to ask God when I get to heaven. Like, why did he create cellulite? I'm just curious. But anyway, you are beautiful. And when you have the love of Jesus in you and you know that you are loved by Jesus, let me just tell you a little secret. When you know you are loved by Jesus, you radiate beauty. It is true. So here are two little things I want to suggest that you do today so that you can break free from this neurotic insecurity and start to see yourself the way God sees you. Number one, meditate on Zephaniah 317. Zephaniah 317, where God is speaking to us and he says, the Lord is with you. The Lord is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. Delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Whoa, jump back. The God of the universe who created billions of stars and galaxies, he's rejoicing over you with singing. Psh, pretty powerful stuff, right? Meditate on that, Zephaniah 317. But secondly, I wanna urge you to quiet yourself for a moment today and ask the Lord to speak one word to you about how he sees you. I know that Jesus loves you and I know that he wants you to hear his voice. In uh, John 10, 27, in fact, Jesus tells his followers, his sheep, my sheep hear my voice. There you go. Believe it by faith. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you're his sheep and you will hear his voice. He said so in John 10, 27. Now I don't hear an audible voice, but when I ask the Lord to speak to me and I truly just quiet myself for a moment and I believe that he will speak to me and I ask him a question, I get that like impression upon my heart or that little nudge or that little word or that little vision will pop into my brain and I believe that that is from the Lord because I'm trusting that he will speak to me in that moment. I'm asking you to do the same thing. Quiet yourself for a moment today and just say, Lord, would you just impress upon my heart one word about how you see me? You may hear the word loved, adored, cherished, enough, like you're enough. You're going to hear a word from the Lord. I believe that because in John 10, 27, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. Would you do that? Would you just quiet yourself today and strain to hear from the Lord? Ask him to speak one word to you about how he sees you. He loves you and he is speaking right now to you.